Hey everyone, Coolman1 here, and welcome to part 2 of my Ben 10 fanfiction titled Ben 10 Hero Time. So, for those of you who liked the first part of my Ben 10 fanfiction, well, here's part 2. I said in the pinned comment I was working on part 2, and uh, here it is. It's ready. So, for those of you who watched the first part and you really enjoyed it and you wanted to see more, well, here's part two. So, um, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy the second part. Um, this is going to be a lot more, a lot more fun than the first part because it's going to have a lot more to it, to the story. It's going to have a lot more to the story, so it's going to be really fun. And, um, yeah, I just know you guys are going to like this one even more than, than the first part. And, um, there's, there's five parts of this in total. There's five parts in this fan fiction in total. So, um, just, um, let me know if, when I'm done making part two, let me know if you guys liked it. And, um, yeah, like I said in, in part one, I'll keep going and, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun so yeah anyways without further ado let's get to part two of my Ben 10 fanfiction titled Ben 10 Hero Time after they walk into the rust bucket Grandpa Max compliments Ben saying great job Ben and now that that's over where do you two want to go this summer after all this is our second summer together Ben exclaims Ooh, can we buy the new Sumo Slammers game? I really want to try it out. Please, Grandpa. Gwen interrupts, saying, No! I don't want to waste the first day of summer getting some stupid video game. Let's go to the mall. I heard they have new summer clothes. We can buy some new clothes for the beach. Ben argues with Gwen, saying, Are you trying to make our second summer boring? Max interrupts, saying, Actually, I was thinking we go somewhere even better. How about... But before he could finish his sentence, he gets interrupted by the Rust Bucket's radio. The radio turns on, and we hear a reporter saying, Giant mutant animals are destroying the blocks of Beltwood. And Ben, Gwen, and Max all exclaim, saying, Animo! Ben exclaims, It has to be him. I mean, come on. Mutant animals? This is obviously Animo's dirty work. Max agrees with Ben, saying, I agree. We don't know any other bad guy you've faced who has control over mutant animals. Gwen exclaims, saying, Let's go get him! And Ben exclaims, saying, Go in hero! Ben runs outside the rust bucket and reaches for his watch. But before he could go hero, Grandpa Max stops him and says, Ben, wait! You can't just run off like that. We don't know where Animo is. Ben replies, Oh, right. My bad. Gwen replies, saying, Yeah, that's really irresponsible. But it's not like this is the only time you've been irresponsible. I can't even keep count of all the times you just ran off without being patient. Max says, I have the location right here, as he points to the Rust Bucket's GPS. They drive off to where Animo's mutants are. When they arrive, they get close, but not too close. Then... Ben runs out of the rust bucket and reaches for his watch again, saying, I'm going hero, for real this time. Gwen interrupts him, saying, Wait, I can help. I have magic powers, remember? Ben replies as he turns into the speedy alien, Accelerate. Sorry, but there's too many of them. I don't think your magic will be able to handle them all. I'll go, and you guys stay here. Then, Gwen argues, saying, Oh, come on. I haven't even been able to use my magic too much last summer. Max replies, Ben's right, Gwen. It's too dangerous out there. And besides, I'm sure your cousin can get things done a lot quicker with Accelerate. Gwen exclaims, saying, What? That's not fair. Accelerate runs into action to stop the mutant animals, while Gwen runs after him, and Max exclaims, shouting her name, Gwen! She tries to find the perfect time to use her magic. But then, 
a giant mutant bull charges at Gwen, but before it could hit her, Accelerate saves her just in time and runs back to the rust bucket carrying Gwen. Max looks at her with an angry expression, saying, Why didn't you listen to me? You could have gotten hurt if it wasn't for Ben saving you. Gwen replies by saying, Sorry, Grandpa. I just thought my powers would work. Max says, It's okay. Just be more careful next time. And Ben says, Who's irresponsible now, huh? Gwen looks at Ben, looking mad at him. Then, Accelerate fights the mutant animals, and using his super speed, he beats them. After that, they stop destroying the city and run off. Then, everyone cheers and claps for Accelerate as he waves goodbye and runs inside the rust bucket with Gwen and Max behind him. Then, Ben's watch time's out, and he says, Well, glad that's taken care of. Max replies, saying, I'm not so sure it's over, Ben. There's something I noticed during the attack. Gwen asks, What is it, Grandpa? And Max replies, saying, Animo wasn't there. To be continued. Wow! Anyways, guys, that was part two of my Ben 10 fanfiction titled Ben 10 Hero Time. So, yeah, um, this part, the second part, actually did turn out to be a lot more fun to work on than the first part. Also because there was um, a lot more stuff to talk about in this part than in the first part. And things are getting a lot more interesting now because now... Ben, Gwen, and Max are trying to find Animo, and, well, I'm not going to spoil anything else because this is a five-part fanfiction, and there's three more parts to this fanfiction after this, so, yeah, I'm not going to spoil too much because, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really fun, I'm just going to, I'm going to let you guys watch it instead of spoiling it, so, yeah, <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyways, if you guys are enjoying this fanfiction so far, um, let me know. Because honestly, this is a blast to, to, to work on. This was all a blast to work on, and uh, now that I'm actually sharing it all with you guys, it's just amazing. And I know I'm repeating some of the same things I said in the first part, but um, it's just, um, I'm just so happy to finally share this with you guys, because... I worked really hard on this, and uh, this is really fun, so, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me know, for those of you who watched part one, and you're fans of Ben 10, and you liked part one, let me know what you guys think about part two. And if you like it, if you liked both, this part and the first part, get ready for part three. Part three is going to get really interesting, too, so... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for this fan fiction, and as always, stay cool.